Hello and welcome to Verdictum. I am Ananya Singh and you're watching today's legal news where we apprise you with the recent important legal developments across the country. Here are the headlines. Rahul Gandhi moves Delhi court seeking NOC for issuance of ordinary passport after surrender of diplomatic passport upon disqualification as MP. Shri Krishna Janmabhoomi Shahi Idga Mosque case transferred to civil judge by Mathura District Court. Varanasi court consolidates eight petitions relating to the Gyan Vapi Mosque dispute. Delhi High Court refuses to stay center's order dismissing IPS officer that conducted the Ishrat Jahan fake encounter probe. Now let's take a detailed look on the headlines. Congress leader Rahul Gandhi moved the Rao's Avenue court in Delhi for the issuance of a fresh ordinary passport after he surrendered his diplomatic passport following his disqualification as a member of parliament on March 26th. Gandhi was disqualified for being convicted by a court in Surat, Gujarat in a criminal defamation case over his Modi surname remark. According to sources, Gandhi sought a fresh passport as he is planning a visit to the United States of America and expected to address a public rally at the Madison Square in New York on June 4th. A court in the Mathura district of Uttar Pradesh transferred one of the Shri Krishna Janbhumi Shahi Idga Mosque case to the court of civil judge from a fast track court. The application for the said transfer was moved a month ago by the counsel for the Shahi Idga Mosque Intazamia Committee on the ground that more than half a dozen petitions related to the matter are being heard by the civil judge. The lawyers representing the mosque committee also pleaded that contradictory orders might be passed if similar suits were allowed to be run in different courts. District Judge of Varanasi Ajaya Krishna Vishwesa passed an order for consolidation of eight suits relating to the Gyanwapi Mosque. The order was passed in pursuance of Section 4A of the Civil Procedure Code of Uttar Pradesh Act 57 of 1976, which provides that when two or more suits of proceedings are in the same court and the court is of the opinion that it is expedient in the interest of justice, it may direct the joint trial of such suits. The district judge also took note of the order of the Apex Court from November 2022 which observed that it is open for the said district judge to determine as to whether the suits be consolidated. In August 2021, five Hindu women filed petition in the local court seeking a right to worship at the Shringar Gauri site located in the Gyanwapi Mosque premises. In April 2022, the senior division court ordered a survey in the mosque premises, which was completed in May 2022. It was this survey that found the structure that is claimed to be a shivling by the Hindu side and a fountain by the Muslim side. On May 19, 2023, the Supreme Court directed the archaeological survey to not conduct the carbon dating of the said shivling till the next hearing on the matter. A bench of the High Court of Delhi comprising the Chief Justice Satish Chandra Sharma and Justice Sanjeev Sakdeva refused to stay the order of the centre that dismissed former IPS officer Satish Chandra Verma a month before his retirement. Verma was dismissed on August 30, 2022 and was set to retire on September 30, the same year. His dismissal was based on a departmental inquiry that found him guilty of charges of giving out personal details of officials dealing with the case and interactions with public media without authorization from competent authority for his 2016 interview to a TV channel. Verma was an IPS in Gujarat and assisted the state-appointed special investigation team in 2004 to probe the Ishrat Jahan case. And based on his report, the encounter in the case was concluded to be a fake encounter by the SIT. The High Court upheld the order of dismissal passed by the centre and dismissed the petition filed by Verma against his termination. That was all on today's legal news. Thank you and keep watching Verdictum. And subscribe to our channel and download the Verdictum app on iOS and Android to keep yourself updated with authentic legal news.